we're here with Hank Crescent from Learn with Cisco to do a this or that networking edition. What is more exciting for you to teach, CCNA or DevNet Associate? Yeah, this is a really hard one for me, Michelle, because I am super excited about network automation and all things programmable. But I gotta say, if I had to pick one and you're just gonna make me pick one, it's gonna be CCNA because CCNA for me, I have such a long history with it. I learned my own CCNA and earned it in a Cisco Network Academy, learned the fundamentals of networking, learned all those aspects, then got a job in this space and CCNA transformed my life. So it's the one that I'm the most excited about teaching and helping engineers make their own transition. What was the easiest way for you to prep for an exam? Was it hands-on learning or was it to study with flashcards? Ooh. All right, this is another good question. They're both critical aspects of prepping for an exam and prep and study, but I gotta say it's the hands-on learning is the most important aspect of it. Being a network engineer, learning the skills, there's nothing quite like actually doing the configurations, making the connections, seeing the pieces go through to get that the core knowledge necessary to be prepared for the exams. Now, are you a certification bootcamp type of person or a self-paced guide? Oh, another great one. I think they both have their place, but I got to be honest, for me personally, and it's different for everybody, is I'm more a self-paced kind of guy because I like to be able to kind of focus in and dive deeper. And if I've got a topic that I'm after and I'm doing it self-paced, I have the chance to be able to go in as deep as I want. During a boot camp, they're always, they're great, but they're structured and you've got to stay on their pace. Right. And that doesn't always work for me yeah. personally. Are you a layer two or layer three? Oh, layer two. It's a, it's a big argument that goes through. A lot of people really prefer layer three, but I got to admit, I kind of like layer two. I like the fundamentals of just kind of connecting things together in a single network. If you don't have your layer two right, your layer three is never going to function. Right. So I'm going to go layer two on this one. 